It's been 10 years since the program OK to Say was implemented in our state, and still leaders say it is very important. 13 On Your Side's Lauren Baker shows us why they say students still need a safe way to report threats. This is really about making sure that we all can help as soon as possible to make sure that a day doesn't go from okay to worse. It's been 10 years since the program OK to Say launched, and leaders say it's still needed in our state. And at a time when there are so many uh, reasons not to trust so many things, that kids trust OK to Say is a marker of success of this program for its first 10 years. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist was joined by Michigan State Police Director Colonel James Grady and Holt to talk about the impacts of the confidential reporting program. Grady says it's given students the opportunity to report situations that feel unsafe and help law enforcement agencies do their jobs better. It gives the student a perfect platform to be able to call, make that confidential uh, contact with somebody to get the help that, that can be used here for the school. Whether it's us, a faculty member, we just want the information. This anniversary comes on the heels of several threats made to schools in West Michigan. In the last several weeks, schools like Jenison Public Schools, Three Rivers Community Schools, and Byron Center Public Schools have had to cancel class because of the threats. And while these and other threats may have not resulted in acts of violence, it's still important students continue to use the program. 60,000 uh, tips have come in um, in these last 10 years, and we hope that students continue to have the confidence in it to use the system going forward. So we wanted to bring attention to that. that this is a resource um, at a time when things can be so chaotic. Lauren, did they talk about when this program has been used in cases of violence? They did, Julia. Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist says students actually used this in response to the fatal shootings at Oxford High School back in 2021. It's an unfortunate example of how students trust this system. He also says the program has expanded in many ways, from texts to phone calls to phone apps students can use to help get to ask for help, Juliet. Thank you, Lauren.